sailing or living on a boat, living on the ocean is the last piece of freedom you have in our life. If you go out there, there's no land inside, there are no more rules except your own rules and of course the rules of Mother Nature. It doesn't matter, there's no speed limit, there's nobody controlling you, there's nobody telling you to do things. You have to do things right. It's very dangerous outside there if you do things wrong, but nobody tells you anything. It's freedom. You can go in any direction. If you say, I want to go east, you go east. You know, west, west, north, south, doesn't matter. You do what you want. Last piece of freedom. You just disappear behind the horizon. Nobody cares about it. I started sailing when I was born, pretty much. My dad took me into sailing and started dinghy sailing. So I sailed my whole life. And I can't tell you exactly when and why I wanted to sail around the world, but I wanted for a long time. And, you know, I was racing every weekend in my little dinghy from April to pretty much end of October, early November. Every, pretty much every weekend I was on a race. And sailing was, it was a, it's a different sailing in the dinghy, but it was my life then. I mean, imagine you are a teenager. Every weekend you're away from the party. It's a different, I mean, still we have party over there, different people. So I live my sailor life at the weekend and I live my being a teenager, going to school with my friends during the week. Sometime it appears in my head that I want to sail around the world and I don't know exactly when it came up and don't know exactly why it came up but it's in my head for over 20, 25 years. People tell me we are living their dream and actually we do. I mean, we live a very dream life, doing nothing else and sailing from A to B, sailing from the, I mean, now we're in Alaska, it's not tropical islands, like the typical picture what pops up in your head if you say I'm sailing around the world, but it's beautiful nature here and we, meet, we met so many nice people and outstanding people and people want to share, want to join and some people actually do, like you know my friend Peter and Robin here we sailed in, in Hawaii together for just a day trip but we did and now they're here and stay on the boat because they're a road trip and I have friends from Germany come over, I had friends meet on the road, they sailed with me. I met uh, um, a guy on Big Island in the, while surfing in the lineup. And three days later, I took him to Maui from Big Island. It just, it happens and it's good. If it's fun, it's fun. Uh, sailing an ocean is easier than ever. And it will get easier every day. Technology is just, it's just uh, helping everything. I mean, 20 years ago, before we had GPS, you had to be able to navigate by the stars. If not, you can't cross an ocean because you don't know where you are. You don't know where you're ending up. Now, every smartphone has a GPS, a built-in GPS. So with every smartphone, even if you have no idea, you just put Google Maps or Google, Google Earth on and you have a dot where you are. And you know in what direction you're going. So it's very easy. It, it doesn't help you with, you know, setting the sails and um, finding your right course or the, um, the decisions you have to make as a, as a skipper or a captain. But it's a big part you don't have to learn if you don't want to. The other thing is weather forecasts. The weather forecasts are getting better and better. You can actually time your passage pretty good. Not the long ones, but you know, two weeks weather forecasts are not too bad right now. Um, one week is pretty good. So you know, if it's good for one week, you have one week, no storm. And the second week you will know, uh, you know, maybe it's come up or not, but um, that helps a lot. And that makes it easier and that, that, that um, helps people to make the decision to buy a sailboat and sail around the world or even just if they don't sail around the world, they, 
you know, sail from within the Mediterranean or just sail down from Los Angeles to Mexico, whatever. Just do a extended cruising. I'm heading to, from here, I'm heading to Whittier. Mm -hmm. I may stop on the road, probably somewhere, um, if I find a nice bay. Um, I want to go to Anchorage from Whittier. So take a train and check out the, the big city around here. And then I slowly go east towards the west coast. So uh, the east coast, uh, the west coast, yeah, go east to the west coast, and British Columbia. Yeah, you find us on uh, under www.sy-zero.de, and zero is the boat name, Zulu Echo Romeo Oxford, and uh, yeah, that's an easy blog. You find it. It's maybe written here right now. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and yeah, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus. Like, and I'll be sure to link it below so people can check. Yeah. It so screen. yeah, check our blog. We are um, having a little YouTube channel with a couple of videos, and we are blogging text on a regular basis and sending some nice pictures out on um, either Facebook or blog or Instagram.